so thank you very much for inviting me for being part of this uh, night air program and about this idea of shifting sense and sounds from the deserts. So I've not been able to join, but uh, I may be, uh, I'm uh, happy to be there uh, virtually with you. I apologize if the Wi-Fi connection is not that good. That's the best we've been able to do here from the desert of Arizona. At least uh, it's a place connected to the topic of uh, sand and desert and sound. Uh, so tonight uh, we're going to listen to a sound piece called Desierto. Um, so I'm Felix Blum. I'm a sound artist and sound uh, engineer, uh, French, uh, living between Mexico, Brazil and, and Europe in the last years and right now in Arizona for an, another upcoming project uh, related to the desert. Uh, so this sound piece, uh, Desierto, is um, uh, produced by Arte Radio. It's done with sound recorded by myself and Pierre Costard uh, during different trips to the same desert of San Luis Potosí, a few hours north from uh, Mexico City. It's an altiplano, 2,000 meter high, more or less. Uh, and it's uh, the desert, but uh, there are, of, uh, of course, a few people living there. Uh, it's not so empty as we could think it is. Uh, it's uh, re recorded in different small communities and villages uh, on these altiplanos of San Luis Potosi. Uh, so I, I will not talk that much about the piece before. I think it's better just uh, you can listen to it uh, and maybe after I will talk a bit more about uh, how the piece has been done, how it has been uh, produced, and what was the idea and the process of the creation of the piece. So this piece is 24 minutes long, uh, so I wish you a very nice listening uh, session of the desert, and see you after to talk a bit more about it. Have a good listening. Thank you. Thank you very much for your listening. I hope you had a nice journey in the desert, um, of the Mexican uh, desert. So um, now I will um, tell you a bit more about the piece, about the process of the piece. And I will share some uh, images of this uh, process. So, um, uh, so I've been, as a sound engineer, uh, I've been invited to work on different documentary projects and I've been uh, recording in the desert uh, in different places and times, mostly like uh, in 2010, 2012, I've been like doing some project uh, as a sound engineer on documentaries in Chile, in Peru, in Mexico, in uh, Arizona and different parts of the US uh, and different places uh, were called desert uh, places. And that's in a way something that I like uh, because this, the desert is supposed to be silent. And of course, uh, you can't really record uh, silent or more silent would, it, would not exist uh, in terms of uh, sound material or sound recording. And um, uh, and of course, those places are not so silent as we could think they are. Uh, but there is a kind of challenge each time to try to find, to record something in a place which is supposed to be uh, nothing. Um, so I like it very much to, to spend time in the desert. And um, I've been first to this place, to the San Luis Potosi desert in 2012, uh, just a few days uh, uh, visiting, passing by, uh, of course, already recording a few sounds, but that's a place that I really like. I mean, the desert itself, and then this small town of a uh, small village of Wadley, where a train is going in the middle, that you've been able to, to listen. It's the train going north and crossing the border of the US, going from, from Mexico to, to the United States of America. So I uh, decided uh, a few years uh, later, uh, in 2019, to make a second trip there, this time a bit more time, a few weeks, uh, especially to record sounds. And I went there with a friend called Pierre Costa, uh, both of us uh, recording sounds there. 
And at this point, I knew the place, I knew the territory, I knew I wanted to come to go back to this place that I've been a long time ago, a few years uh, before. But I didn't know what I wanted to record, what I wanted to do with it. And that's a process that I really like in general, is to be able to, to know uh, a place where I would like to go and discover through the actor listening, through the act of recording sounds, but uh, mostly uh, through, the, through meeting people. Uh, it's like a kind of a pretext of... Um, Meeting people is having my gear, my microphones, and going to a place and say, okay, let's go to record the place and let's try to ask the, uh, the people living there what kind of sound we could record, what, what kind of sound we should record. And um, that's a good way to, to meet people, to learn from them and to understand better their relation with the place they're living uh, through the listening, but uh, not only, of course. Uh, how they are uh, living those places, what is their relation with the, their daily soundscapes. And um, so, of course, it can be like a bit weird for them because it's not so, uh, so I mean, common to have some people coming to record sounds, but it's something that people will understand. In general, they know that sound recording exists. They know that some people could like to record sounds. And... Um, so they accept it, and, uh, and and it's a way to to go to those places. Uh, so of course there isn't so many sounds uh, there. Uh, so uh, it's a long, a long time of just waiting. Uh, but as uh, always, or most most of the time when doing some field recordings, uh, so it's yeah, just waiting for sounds, or looking for sounds, or looking for something without knowing that much what we are looking for. Um, that's something I like uh, in general. It's not to know too much about the spaces, about the places where we are going or where I'm going. So we don't have too much a priori. You don't have too much um, things uh, in mind and you're not looking for something specific. Uh, you're definitely searching. You're like uh, 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 actively waiting for something or listening to the things that could happen, but uh, you don't really know what you gonna find and that's something that i really like it just yeah not to know uh, what uh, will happen so we spend uh, yeah sometimes in the desert recording sound mostly wind and then of course uh, in the desert we've been recording the train again and again because there are, plen there are plenty of train and crossing this desert and then um, slowly recording uh, not only the natural soundscapes but all the people living there and uh, small villages, small houses in the middle of the desert. And um, because, of course, uh, there are some people uh, living there. Uh, and if you spend some time, you start meeting them and you then uh, start yeah, um, recording their daily activities. So in the, there are a few villages where there are not that much of activities, but uh, there is this... Um, yeah, a few houses in different uh, villages around uh, those places. And then uh, there are the people uh, working uh, in the desert, uh, which are uh, mostly the shepherd and the people uh, taking care of cows, of sheep, of goats. Um, there are yeah, uh, different people living there, but that's the main activity is, uh, is uh, this one of... Uh, uh, being with uh, animals and taking care of them uh, in the desert, which is kind of complicated because, of course, there isn't that much of to eat. So uh, it's always um, uh, challenging too for them to to find some uh, some food for for them. But it was a good way because that's they are the ones we who spend most of the time uh, of the days in the desert. So they know very good the desert. They know very good all the sound that we could record in the desert. And um, they produce, of course, some sound that you've been uh, able to listen. And that's something I'm very interested in general, like this way of how they uh, uh, talk to their uh, animals, how they give them some instruction. And um, uh, But they are definitely uh, the people who knows better uh, the desert and all the sounds from the desert. Um, they spend some time, uh, they put some fire on the, on the cactus, actually, so 
so they can uh, so uh, the cows mostly can eat them and get some water from from the cactus uh, without getting uh, the, the spine. Um, and then, uh, yeah, once again, the microphone were like the pretext to say, okay, we are here, we are recording sound. Do you mind if I go with you and I can uh, accompany you during one day, for example? And so uh, it was a way to to go uh, with them and to uh, to discover the place uh, with them, and of course uh, talk with them. Not only, I mean, not always, I mean, only uh, doing some sound recording, but being able to to have their uh, to have a, a small chats and to have some reflection about about the place they're living in and about uh, life uh, in general and. Uh, and uh, local stories and things like this. So um, we spent, it wasn't exactly in one specific uh, villages. It was in, in between a, a few different villages and we went from one place to the other one, sometimes doing camping and uh, spending some nights uh, in the desert too, uh, in between the, the small uh, villages. And um, there were, yeah, uh, those uh, different shepherds and, which we've, uh, we've been. And uh, in the villages, the other contact was uh, just, just small shops where people uh, can buy basic things, and which were in general like a good uh, starting point to, to know what, uh, what we could find around, where we could, for example, listen to specific birds or where we could find a specific uh, coyote. Uh, that's uh, Luz on the, on the picture, which is uh, listening some of the recording we've done uh, together because of course uh, the gear it's uh, once again like the starting point for being there but for uh, have a, like a, a small a first relation with the people and to uh, then to keep in, co in contact with them and to keep in touch uh, with them um, so to show them what we are doing and what we what we are recording and uh, once again, they know that exi that exists, that sound recording exists, but they're not so used to record uh, or to listen to recordings of themselves or of them of their goats or uh, of their uh, cattle. So it's always very nice to be able to use the, the gear and the microphone to to meet them. Um, then slowly, and as you've been uh, listening in the piece, I mean, in the piece, I've been doing it like more or less from the beginning from the the beginning of the day of the from the from the early morning until the night and we've we finished with a few minutes in the deep night with crickets and coyote and uh, some very far sound of the train so we've been recording a lot during the night too and um, and when we start recording about the night people start uh, telling us some stories too uh, mostly stories about uh, lights that I've been able to see in the in the in the nights, and that uh, the, the stories are, have not been part of the sound piece, but uh, those stories are part of a small uh, film that I've done uh, with the same sound and the stories with the people telling the, those stories. So in the image before, it was uh, the, the a few children in the in a small village uh, that have been like playing and recording the sound, we've been able to re listen to this, their voices at the beginning of the sound piece when they're just whispering at the microphone. And this one is um, yeah, in, a, in another school uh, recording this uh, trumpet uh, call, which is at the beginning too of, the, of it. Uh, this was uh, the, the guy taking care of the train and announcing uh, on the walkie talkie um what's uh, happening and uh, of course we take we took part of the, the village village lives too and like uh, parties and um, music and bands as you've been able to listen uh, in the sound piece too so uh, yeah as i was saying so those uh, stories and um uh, about lights uh, became a, a, a small movie which we will not show uh, tonight but I will just uh, I mean the film is called Luce del Desierto which means desert lights and I will just show you the, the trailer uh, of this film and before uh, I talk a bit more 
about it. Es una luz que se mueve. Es una luz que sale directamente de la tierra. Es algo que se desprende del cielo, así ardiendo, se viene. Cayó hacia adelante de mí. Y de repente vi que pasaron tres bolas de, de lumbre de fuego. Como si fueran a chocar con las estrellas. Se avientan al fuego y del fuego ya salen volando en bolas de fuego. Como existe el bien, existe el mal y yo creo que se van por el lado del mal. Vienen por los niños o los bebés. Ya se han muerto muchos. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Esa vez es el, el miedo, el vacío y el mover algo. So this was the trailer of this film. You probably recognize a few of the of the sound you've been listening, but you have uh, the story too of the people telling. Because when you go to a place, people uh, can eventually uh, share you some stories and local myths, and most of them were around this idea of seeing light in the desert. So of course, for this project and uh, for the project in general I've done, I like to come back to the places and to make them listen to the song I've been recording. So I, I came back last year in 2021. I've done a few more recording, which are included in the in the sound piece. But then it was yeah coming back, uh, giving them a copy of the of the songs and the the video I've done, and uh, have their have their feedback of. Uh, what they thought about it and actually they were very good uh, at recognizing the sounds uh, the voices of the people the sounds they could even recognize uh, which donkey of of which village it was for, just from the sound so they are i mean very very nice and it's always very important for me to come back to the places and to keep in contact um, uh, with a few of them and to still have some news um, of when it's very dry, when it's really wet. I mean, the news from the, the, the desert and the things that are important for them. So of course, this sound piece, Desierto, that you just listen, is available for download and listen on the site of Arte Radio. And uh, well, it was the starting point of this uh, uh, night uh, around sound and sand and desert. So um, I wish you a nice program and a nice uh, listening um, of the sound uh, from the sand and from the deserts. Thank you. <laughs>